snapping turtles are very common in the uh, Chicago River. What is uncommon is that a turtle of this size is actually observed. These turtles live on the bottom of the, of the river. And unlike a painted turtle or a red-eared slider, which are very common, uh, commonly seen basking on rocks and whatnot, snapping turtles are almost never seen. They're only found out of the water uh, right after hibernation, which is what I think was going on with uh, this individual, or when they uh, emerge from the water to lay eggs. And that typically occurs in our area during the month of June. So my guess is that this animal had crawled out of the, uh, out of the river to try and gather as much heat as it could in the sunshine. It's a very large individual um, without actually having hands on it. I can't tell you exactly how big it was. My guess is that it's something in the 40 pound class, which would put it at a very mature, very large snapping turtle. Um, typically we'll handle a dozen or so individuals of that size a year uh, in this part of the, of the Chicagoland region. Uh, rarely do they get 50, 60 pounds. That's a, that's a totally different class animal. As far as the age goes, we collect the femurs out of uh, animals that get killed on the road and we can send in the femur and we get it sectioned and you can actually count the age of the turtle. It looks just like rings, uh, rings on a tree, believe it or not. So my guess with a turtle this size, based on what we've seen uh, in the past, this is a 40 to 50 year old turtle. So turtles like fish never stop growing. They continue to grow throughout their life, although at a slower rate, the older they get, but they always continue to grow. So it's a, it's a very, very old turtle to get to this, uh, this size. Turtles in general are, are found throughout the Chicagoland area. Uh, they're far more common than what you might imagine. Um, the vast majority of them do not emerge from the water, so the most people don't see them. As the qual water quality of the Chicago River continues to improve due to the efforts of Friends of the Chicago River and the Army Corps of Engineers and the Forest Preserve District of Cook County, as we improve the habitat around the, the river and the water quality gets better, there's going to be more and more sightings simply because more and more people are using the river. And I think in this case, it was a couple of gentlemen that were kayaking or canoeing down the river and they took this video clip. So as more and more people use the water, they're going to notice more and more wildlife which is a good thing.